All right, good morning. I'm in the office. I, uh, as you can see, I purchased some train sets. I really have no clue what's in there. So we're gonna unbox that today. I got two boxes. You can kind of see what's in this one. This one, let's see if you can see it. It's some really old train set tracks. So I'm not sure what's in there. So this is gonna be pretty fun for all of us. I only have about $20 in all of this. Um, so let's see, see what happens. I have no clue. Let's go. Box number one. You can kind of see there's this is probably more of a modern track here. Uh, it's gonna take two hands, so I'm gonna set this baby up on the tripod and let's go. Alright. Here we go. This thing's a mess. We'll start with that one. It says train familial. So kind of Italian, isn't it? It's Fenfa. Yeah. Fenfa. This is just your standard little, I don't know. It's very plasticky. And I got a sharpening stone in there. Total score, right? <laughs> Tracks. Let's see, is there something on the back? Looking for like a UPC. So it looks like it would have something like that, but maybe not. All right, so we're gonna look this up real quick. Fenfa. Doesn't look like they're worth much, but there's some on here that are kind of pricey probably because of age. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. I don't think it's going to be worth a lot, maybe $20, $25. But honestly, that would give me my money back on everything. So not a big deal. I wasn't expecting too much for that anyways. I'll have to test it, put some batteries in it, see if it works. But I mean, total score, right? With the sharpening stone. All right, let's set that to the side. All right, so now, Got some coax wire, some sort of, oh, something hangs off there. All right, what do we got here? Bachman track here. Looks like it might be a whole little bag of this Bachman Easy track. else in there so it looks like it's all Bachman just in this bag here it's like there may be a transformer or a power pack it would make you wonder how these bags get stuck on here all right what we got here it's the uh, power pack De increase decrease speed I don't think that's Bachman the model 6607 it just says hobby transformer oh it is Bachman industry so it is. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong get rid of that bag it's nasty all right what else do we have here a big bag of something Pretty cool. Union Pacific, Burlington, that came off. I don't know, it's just kind of a bunch of hodgepodge. Now this is interesting, look at that. Oh, it's a Thomas the Train. It's a wood one. <laughs> See the caboose. Looking for the engine. Maybe that's in here still. Oh, there's part of it. It's a Santa Fe. There's a body. 
something you would have there's a chassis to it. Oh, that's a score. Look at this. A Tyco RC 6.0 battery charger. I sell the heck out of these things for $20, $25 easy. There's one. Well, it looks like the engine. Here's the engine. I don't know if it goes to the Santa Fe or not. Looks like it might. I don't want to break anything, so I want to be sure before I snap it together. But that's definitely the engine tread or chassis. Oh, look, there's another one. That's cool. It's a bunch of track, and it looks like probably HO scale. And it's all Bachman. There's some little people still on the plastic that you have to snap that off. Parts of a building. It looks like all the walls are there. I'm not sure if it's broken or not. Here's the roof for it. it looks like switch it looks like it's all trapped I don't know if you guys can see in there and there's a bridge component it's all tracked there so it looks to be everything in this box so I'm gonna go ahead and set this back in here stuff out of the way, the odds and ends. Still some value to some of that stuff. I gotta find a home for it right now. There's definitely some value in that charger. Um, as long as it works, I should probably just plug it in, right? Uh, yeah, I know where I'm gonna go. this away. All right, here's the mystery box. What do we have? What do we have? That's some old stuff. Not sure. I'm not too familiar with the real old stuff. This is all steel track. There's no plastic on it. It's all metal. All of it. I'm not seeing any printing on it. But maybe it'd be on the side of the track. Huh. It's actually pretty cool. What, what do we have there? Oh. More metal track, more metal track. This is Lionel CTC lock-on. So I'm gonna assume this is a Lionel train set. Now this thing is roached, just roached. But how, it says uncouple and unload. This is super cool. It is roached, would have to be rewired. What is that? That is super cool. All right, here we go. What's under this? Let's do this. Ready? Oh, Smokey, look at that bad boy. These are big. Oh, that thing is heavy. 
Lionel lines, and it's heavy. I'm talking real stout. This is super cool. This is so neat. Look at that. It's a Lionel train set for sure. Wow. There's a tanker. What's really cool, it's Sonico. So that's super cool. All right, so we have another, some more paper. Let's see what's under there. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Ho, 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 that thing weighs probably four or five pounds. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Main USA, Lionel, 027. Can you see that? That is amazing. Look at this thing. This is awesome. That thing weighs here. We'll weigh it real quick. Here, let me bring the. Let's let's check this. I don't. There's nothing else in there. All right, let's weigh the. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see this. Right here. Let's weigh that bad boy. All right, here we go. Three pounds, 6.4 ounces. So three and a half pounds, almost four pounds. Just that. That is crazy. How old is this thing? Anybody know? Anybody know? Look, the caboose. These are super cool. This like coal car is heavy too. Oh my gosh, this thing looks, I, I doubt this is a whole track, but this is amazing. Is that what fits on this? I don't even know. Is that the right track? Well, it sure looks like it is. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's so stinking cool. All right, let's look it up. Let's do this. All right, super cool. So I looked them up real quick. This on here it has a 027, or I thought it was a 027, but it's it's showing it it's an 027. It's an O gauge track. So this, I've heard of HO, I've heard of N scale. So this is O or zero, uh, one or the other. It, it's the circular thing, <laughs> scale train. So what I'm gathering from what I can tell, it looks to be from the 1950s because they have some pre-war train sets and some post-war train sets. And I'm telling you, a lot of the post-war look just like this. The pre-war look, you could tell, especially like in the caboose, there was, it, it just looked older. So I'm guessing from the 1950s, which is super cool. Now, I, I have no clue if it's gonna work. I'm not gonna even try it. I don't know if you guys could see how roached that wire is, right? I mean, I would not trust that for anybody. So I'm gonna sell it as untested. Um, but I'm probably going to do it as an auction because I just did a slot car auction and it ended up very well for me. So this is super cool. I mean, I cannot get over how heavy this thing is. That is awesome because a lot of the train sets, I had a train set when I was a kid. and Obviously, it wasn't nothing like this. It was an HO scale. It was super cool. I wish I still had it. But this thing's amazing how heavy that is. That's crazy. This, I'd have to put it in a flat rate box because this thing is just going to cost a fortune to ship. This is awesome. And that Sonico tanker, so cool. So cool. So excited to see what was in there. I don't know what this load and unload and, or whatever this is. Never heard of that. Super cool, though. I can't wait to get this on auction. I think I'm going to try to do it today and do like a seven day so it's up in what, right around Saturday and, and see what happens. But Man, so excited. So I got this, and you guys seen that other box. I'll look into that Bachman stuff a little bit more, but I'm gonna definitely get this one set up and listed right away. Super cool. Yeah, so. Super cool, let's go. Check this thing out, ready? Here we go.
how cool is this? I'm gonna auction this off. This is that engine that weighed almost four pounds. This is an O scale with the track from the late 40s, early 50s, super cool. This is some vintage HO scale right here from the early 90s. This set of tracks here are made in Italy. These are the Bachmann, which is, you can see the logo right in there. That's what these are, all Bachmann, except for this one was made in Yugoslavia. And then we have our Transformers. It's a bridge and trestle set. Super cool with the instructions. Very excited about this lot. We got utility poles. We have some people signs, uh, a building. Here's some axles and stuff. So super excited about this auction. I'm gonna put this up soon. So be on the lookout if you're a train enthusiast or know somebody. Hey, I got it all packaged up, ready to go for when that auction ends. I decided to do a three-day auction, so I think it's going to end, well, like Wednesday night, I think. It's either Tuesday night or Wednesday night. So very excited to see how well this one goes, but I just wanted to let you all know that thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I really need the followers. I really want to take 2022 to the next level with our YouTube videos and our podcast on Spotify. It's under Severe Thrifters. Give that thing a listen. Download some of those podcasts. You'll you'll enjoy it. There's a lot of laughs and a lot of craziness and also some, some information there as well about re reselling and thrifting and stuff. So make sure you... Yeah, check that out. We're also on Instagram at severe underscore thrifters. Um, check out my eBay store at severe underscore thrifters. Make sure if you like my content, stop by buymeacoffee.com slash severe thrifters. You can buy us a coffee. We're staying up late to get this stuff taken care of. We really appreciate it. We're having a lot of fun doing this. Unboxing this train set was so much fun. I'm going to continue to do that. Um, and we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.